y'all, it's Betsy and Mom from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden tour. So we literally just filmed the June garden tour from Mom's front yard. But there's been so much going on here in the backyard that she really wanted to film the back. So there's still a lot of things she's working on back here. It is not, oh, it's never, you're never done, ever. But it's looking really pretty right now. And she just put in a playhouse that's gonna need a lot of work. And uh, she's been filling her pots with petunias and vincas and other pretty things. So we just figured we'd show you what it looks like right now. She's been doing more work back here, planting more annuals and things since the front yard is looking more and more like an actual garden this year. So she actually started the backyard garden first four years. about four years ago. Um, and she, it was it was completely just yard back here. It's empty. So she, she no trees, anything. She started by planting the crepe myrtles and the bigger trees. She got the gazebo, she put in the arbor. All of these bricks were from a building by our uh, basketball by the rec center rec center that came down <coughs> and mom went over and was like what are y'all gonna do with all these bricks and they were like we're, Throw them away. we're throwing them away and she said oh can i have them and so she and my little brother my little big brother uh went over and brought back load after load <coughs> of bricks they lined the whole garden yes. she weeded it filled it with mulch and compost my brother who is actually a high school math teacher so he's very <coughs> pattern analytical. pattern analytical my dad's an engineer so he gets that quite honestly um he shoved her out of the middle here <coughs> and laid the patio himself because it was not up to his i was messing it up as standards <laughs> so all of this has been uh completely done by her and my brother and me i helped with a lot of the planting i did not help with any bricks I was like, have fun with that, y'all. And we have big plants. We built her a compost bin in the back for her birthday? Mother's Day. No, oh, birthday. 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 Mother's Day, we planted the Japanese maple. For her That's birthday, true. we did the compost bin. We tend to give mom things she wants that we can build a lot of the time. She likes labor. Yes, I do. Free <laughs> labor. Free labor is her favorite present. Yes. Um, and we have been collecting old windows. We are going to do a path straight back and in the back corner We are going to do at some point a Greenhouse out of old windows. She bought some beautiful French doors. Well, they're not French doors or are they? Yeah, they're French, they're doors. French doors, but we're not gonna put them French They're gonna go one at the front and one at the back. Yes. The whole plan is to make it all symmetrical So there's still there's still a lot to do at mom's house um, uh, as opposed to my house where I know I'll move eventually. This is This is it. This, this is, is it. My forever house. This she's doing all the work here because she's planning to be here forever. So yes. I've been moving since I was three when my dad went in the army and then I went in the army and then my husband went in the army. My dad. Her dad. And I literally have never had a home to come home to until now. Until now, and she bought this house about 10 years ago, give or take. So, either way, we're gonna stop talking and we're just gonna give you a tour of what everything looks like. We were not planning to do this today. So, as always, with all of our garden tours, it is not perfect, it is not weeded, it is not finished. This is not the you know great grand garden show, best day of its life. This is just what it looks like. But today in June and we're very happy with it it will only get better That's so right. and I do have behind the garden I do have an old carriage house which is beautiful but needs some work and we mainly use it as storage for our yeah. antique food business and so garden stuff yeah but it's great backdrop it's a great backdrop so all right let's get started good job Biddy. Next. The other thing you'll notice is that since we're in the backyard, the uh, the dogs are always back here. Now, Daisy and Biddy, who are our two older girls, hi baby, um, they're outside with us a lot, but all the other dogs are usually in the back because 
they can't, they can't, be, trusted. They can't be trusted not to run, run into the road. Yeah. And, and the boys... Road, and, and it's too much traffic, yeah. as you can tell. She lives right, like, a um, couple, uh, not even a block from downtown in our town here. And so it's a very busy street. Yes. So. And we have more puppies coming this way. Come on, Chip. Come on, Chippity Doodle. This is Chip. This is Hi, Chip. 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 Daisy. Come Cookie. On. Hi, Cookie. Hey, Here's Coco. Here's Coco. Here's Coco. Here's Coco. Hi. Coco likes her belly rubbed. Yes, she does. And of course, you guys know Biddy. All right. Let's start with the garden tour, Mom. Okay. So you gonna go show them what you want to show them? Why don't we start in the middle here? Okay. This is. A you gotta face the camera and talk, or they have no idea what you're saying. Um. This is the gazebo my friend gave me. And then I had this uh, arbor. She's not quite understanding the face, the camera, and talk I, part. I planted, I believe it's new dawn rose, and it's all bloomed already once. I cut it back, and it, it'll probably bloom some more. Yes, it's okay. a pretty good bloomer. It has really pretty light pink flowers. Yes. Big, big, big. And it's, it's been on there a couple, maybe two seasons? Three. Three? Three. So, but it, it gets cut, pruned back, I suppose. It back a couple of years and ago, she cut it back and I almost, almost all the way to the ground. I yeah, cut it back, just a second. Sorry, y'all. I was getting my toes bit. Yeah. All right. So from the rose arbor, I have this really pretty hydrangea, which has not bloomed yet. It hasn't, and it's a lace cap. And my lace cap, which is a twisted shout, and is usually covered in light pink blooms, has only had two blooms this season. Yeah, this one is so I'm not sure. Yes. And it's been planted, I would say. I started it on the other side. Of the year. That was one of the first I things. Moved it. I it. probably, I, I bought it the same time I bought the hydrangea out there, the oak leaf. So probably seven, eight years ago. Yeah. And so it's, it's nice and big. I did have it's to usually covered. Some of the dead wood on top, but it, it should be coming soon. Hopefully. And it, it's a rebloomer. So hopefully it will still bloom for us this year. But hydrangeas, of course, depending on which type you have, bloom on new wood or old wood. So sometimes when you prune them, you sacrifice some blooms. Yeah, but, it was, but even if it doesn't fall. bloom this year, it will bloom next year, but it should bloom this year. I have um, Black Eyed Susans here in the front. Hold up. Oops. Yeah. Uh -oh. The rose has caught. me caught. And caught. <laughs> Got it. Right. Okay. So we have Black Eyed Susans in the front here, which are starting to bloom. I think they're going to yeah. bloom in time now. Plus, I have all these volunteer vincas. Yeah, so these have come back several years in a row. Um, and then she just planted some bare root daylilies in here. And they are starting She's to got some flocks that's coming back. And these daylilies, a lot of them are from my grandmother in Louisiana. Yes, yeah, so my great-grandmother, her grandmother. And that so, orange one for absolutely came from her it's like a double orange it's so it's pretty. very pretty yes i don't even like orange but of course i like i like anything sentimental so yes at some point i definitely want some of these more peachy colored ones mm -hmm. and i will probably get some of the orange ones eventually when i have a good spot for them but you know my garden is mostly pinks and purples and cooler tones that right. i prefer so I'd have to have a good spot to put an orange that's not right. going to be jarring. And I just don't have that at this house. But I'll make a spot eventually because yeah, I, I like the things that come from her house. From family. Yes. You know, that's important. So, And then I have these cute little bushes. I think they're called what? Pittosporum? Pittosporum? I don't know. I just bought some. They, they get only about two feet tall, but about three feet wide like that. And so I just love them. And they have that variegated foliage. So they just give you some bright color, even though there's no blooms on them. Mom is a big fan of foliage. I'm a big fan of flowers. Mom likes both, well, but like both. She, she's a big fan of foliage. And then I planted these sunshine ligustrums. Yes, and they are getting they are taken over. 8 million times bigger than they should have yes, on the tag. They were not supposed to get this. I like them. I've cut them back. This one I cut back a little bit this year, and I cut another one back over here this year. You can see by the yellow foliage, and plus it's so short. Yes, so, so she cut this one like maybe in half. Yeah. 
And I mean, they can take a hard pruning. So I think every year you should just half them. I think so because and I like. I still want to see the, the the other things azalea behind it on the little um, bed frame. Yeah. And um, this side we have some more of the black eyed susans, which are starting to bloom. Yes. And more of the volunteer vincas that are all coming back on their own. Plus, I had some fire ants, but I got rid of. Mom put, has a lot of ants. I put some stuff out on them, and hopefully, I think I'm have to do one more application. And I do have some hostas over here and, and in different places. Those are the um, sun sun hostas. hostas, which down here in Zone Eight B, Alabama, they like ev everything has to handle at least some sun. Even our shady spots are sunnier than a lot of other places. I had strawberries in here last year. I have to go get some plants to put them in. Yeah, they haven't come back, but strawberries that are not in the ground don't always come back. Right. So it is what it is. This is a clematis. clematis. And it's already bloomed this year. I have one on each corner. Yeah. By the opening. By the posts. By the posts. And we think we're going to put maybe some morning glories or something that climbs a little better. I also think she needs a string in some of these open spots Probably. to help support Probably. them. Mm -hmm. Because they, they cannot just climb up these black posts the way we think. Is Aunt Terry here? I don't know. I'll find out. Because uh, my aunt and her granddaughter coming over to visit with the puppies and all the dogs just started barking. So then over here, she's got in her pots, this is a Super Tunia Mini Vista yes. uh, star mm -hmm. and they're very pretty. I have, I have one of these in one of my pots on my porch. She just planted hers though, I so did. they're still taken off and then some no, salvia. salvia. I just planted that dogwood tree because the one that was there passed away yes and her dachshund wind when wind vein yeah, that seems vein. wrong weather vein that makes more sense yes so we like that and a big old azalea that was yes. over by the house we dug it up when they built the so she there. has i mean her house is almost a hundred years old and a lot of her azaleas you can see flanking the whole backyard they bloom this beautiful either pink or purple or red bright bright bright, bright colors yeah. in the spring and so she dug this one up and moved it here and it's doing great it is doing wonderful um, more fire ants I have some more black eyed susans that haven't i just got those when I just established these are from the bare root box from with the, the day box. lilies we did a whole video on everything she planted there i have a rose bush i got that from you and those day lilies i think i dug up from my neighbor's yard over there when they moved <laughs> they came out and they moved the whole house yeah so we went over and dug up everything it was just gonna get ruined yeah and then so. she's got violets as a ground cover they're yeah. doing really well i have some more on the other side under the other yes um, and hopefully they'll just continue to fill in everywhere they want to yep i'm gonna probably go and dig some up and move them around yeah and everywhere she's got a flag back here are peony tubers i believe and they are or the um they're doing okay those uh those ones i got for mother's day too um, oh, the tiger the lilies, tiger, stargazer, stargazer lilies. And one of them's coming up. I don't know about the yeah. rest. So I That's just put the little, little yellow flag so I know where I have bulbs. bulbs. Yeah. So. And but. she's got a little fountain here. It's not turned on at the moment, but that's okay. Daisy, you showing us where to go, honey? Thank you. She's got a little path through this side of the garden. And a zinnia that she just popped in this pot. Yep, She's then, got a little turtle. And she usually that. has strawberries in all I these hanging plants. Because uh, with all her dogs, all her strawberries have to hang or they just become Down snacks. Food, yeah. I don't even know that they become snacks. They get dug up. Yeah, they dig up a lot. They have gotten into this garden so many places. Yes, they are great diggers. If you need a crew of diggers. I have them. This yeah. guy is for hire. Yes. And his girlfriend, Freya. Oh, she is the queen of the She's daughter. the best. That's her mama. So Coco, okay. Freya's her daughter. Yep. Now over here, I have Louisiana iris that I also got from my grandmother's house. And I have that in Colorado. It never bloomed. And then since I've had it here, it has bloomed every spring. And it yeah. has a really pretty little yellow flag iris on it. And she, she dug up two big clumps from the front here. So it was bigger to bring to the front garden. Yeah, so I have some in front. And then here. 
Hey, 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 hey. Freya? Freya's in the garden. Freya, where are you? Get out of there, you monkey. That little crepe myrtle is a volunteer. So that is a crepe myrtle tree. It, it may is. be a crepe myrtle bush, but, but uh, here we're going to leave it. It's pretty. It's not bad. I had this. It didn't, I didn't, I had something here and it didn't like it, so, but, um, this is a azalea. Yes. And so it'll just get bigger and be over the azalea. And then some more of those sunshine will gush and see they get so tall, I'm going to cut them yeah. off. So she cut the one up front that we showed you back. They were this tall. And so they're, I mean, you can see how tall the crepe myrtle is. So yeah. just cut them in half and there'll be more bushes than trees. Right. And then she just planted the homestead verbena in some of these little pots. And I have some real pretty yellow um, daylilies. daylilies Mom's favorite flower is no, daylilies. Right yeah. I have this funny little tree that I got to put my hummingbird feeders on. I need to set them up. Has it say none of them are full? Yep. That's some more um, Louisiana iris. I think it's a purple flower, though. Ah, we should get some of that for me. Not from Nana, I know. Excuse you, sir. Come here. Excuse you. Chip. Out, 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 out. Good boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. The fence is supposed to keep them out, but it really just lets them know there's a barrier. But yeah. what I'm going to do. She has big plans. Big plans. I'm going to build a fence and give them their own little area over here that they can with their own house and the ground to dig as they want. And they like to do. she's going to come up and then to the house and then put a dog door into the house on this side so they can get in and out of the house and come inside. And then they'll have their own part of the yard and their own and their own dog, dog house with steps. And I'm going to put a doggy door in that door. Yes. And not dig up her garden. Yes, Essentially, so the whole dog fence playhouse saga is to protect the garden. Because, and I'm tired of them digging holes because I fall and I about kill myself. Yeah, they're very good diggers. Like here's one. So it, a big hole here. This all this stuff that's everywhere is not just for places. fun. It's because we're protecting holes that they yes, like places they like to dig. Right now that's Freya's spot. I usually have a big cart uh, there, cart over that, so to keep them out of it. Yeah, but we moved it. It's over there. Yeah. So, then well, here. Let's say the garden has really been hurting this year. Yes. Well, it had a big that a big limb fall on it. But it just didn't. Not, stuff just didn't come back. And so, we've just been adding things as we get them. You just added these. Are these the dianthus you added? Uh huh. I added these little pink dianthus. I added these nandinas. They're the lemon limes at nandinas, and then the pittosporum. Yeah. Right there, that'll get to be like three feet wide, and I, I think I already, I think I divided a hosta and put another hosta there. Yeah. But now these three little mums, they were here last year. Yeah. When they finished, I'm gonna cut all my mums back on the Fourth of July, and hopefully they'll all bloom again. They should in uh, our area. This is agapanthus as well. And for some reason, none of our agapanthus has bloomed bloom. this spring for some reason. We don't know why. So. Hoping it still will, but I'm getting a little iffy. So we'll see, but I just, I, yeah. we're already in summer. It's almost the official first summer, but in our zone in Alabama, it's really been summer here for at well, least a, a month, two months. So, and then a lot, a lot, a lot of, of vincas. Again over here. I'll probably dig some up and put them over there. Yeah. Put in these three little dianthus. We'll see how they do. They're red dianthus. And I had to replace. A hydrangea. hydrangea got killed when the limb fell, the limb and fell. so this is a twist and shout endless I had a summer. Limelight there. Yes, and I have two of these now. I have one by my front porch that I've had since I moved in. It was one of the first things I planted, yes. and then I have a brand new one that Mom just bought me when she got this one. Yes, and they bloom a very pretty pink in our gardens. They're pH dependent. Yeah. Um. And they're a lace cap. They get three by five high by about three wide. So it should be a nice yeah, size nice right here. here. Like yeah, we're always refilling this in. So it'll be nice when there's not landmines everywhere. Yes. My little, little rose put out a little sucker. Yeah, because that that's new. That's a new one. And these so are there we iris. Go. I think I got them from the neighbor too. Okay. Free plants, Biddy. Free plants, Biddy. Yep. 
And then that is my tricycle that my children gave me for something. Christmas, I think. Christmas, Mother's Day, something. Birthday, no you, we're going to start downgrading the number of holidays you get presents for. Because yeah. we, we don't have enough... Uh, stuff to get you i saw that and i thought it would be perfect in the garden and i put that fern in it it's perfect and this is why we tend to build her stuff instead of buy her stuff but luckily as her boyfriend says she likes old rusty stuff so there's never a shortage of it yep. except he used another word but stuff <laughs> and i got some uh real pretty uh daisies here yes daisies, but they haven't bloomed they haven't bloomed this summer they were really big last summer they had another one, and the other one died, so yeah. two of them came back. And a little trike with a little vinca in it. I did buy those vincas because I didn't want to dig up these babies that weren't blooming yet, and then I I wanted to pop a color right there yeah. just to put right in front of that little bush. It's cute. Um, and then let's go over here. And again, more. I, I just can't get over these vincas. The vincas. Especially in warm climates, the vincas will just self-seed everywhere. Yep. If you let them go. I can't complain about it. Anytime I get an extra flower, I'm happy. Yeah. So, on this side, I have more. Um, these are some kind of iris. You bought these iris. Mine haven't bloomed. Have yours bloomed? Yeah, mine have been blooming all season. But only, I bought two of them. I have two. This one's and, a um, I think it got stepped on. Only one of mine has been blooming. And it's bloomed several times. And the other one hasn't bloomed at all. And the dogs were digging in this iris. So, I figured... I That's not I have helpful. A and Nandinas, they've been here for a while. One of them died. I have to get another one. Yeah. And, this and is then a gardenia, and it is just starting to bud back out. Oh, weird. See, there's another one over there too, and it's yeah. just budding out too. So they'll still bloom. Um, and then back in here, you can see she has a couple big cone flowers, and, and they have self-seeded all over back yes. in here. And so she's just going to let those go That's and she'll have beautiful, have tall, purple cone flowers eventually, right like mine. Yeah, look at all those little cone flower leaves. Put them over there too. Yeah. They all, I was shocked. I came, I said, Betsy, come look at this. What do you think? Now, also over here, that cell seed is I have these salvia. pink salvias. I need some more, so I, we, I may come dig this one up. There's just a baby there, but there's a couple more on and the other side. There's some right that there. That one up. There's some over and there. there. There's one. I need some. I had a bunch last year, and then I dug a bunch up and brought them over to Betsy's house. Yeah, and the, I, Mom likes them, but I like them a lot more than they Mom. They reseed freely. Too much for Mom. Here's some more agapanthus. No, no flowers. No I flowers. Go figure. And you might have noticed Mama loves these old cast iron yes, stoves. I do. It reminds me of my grandmother's house. She had these oh, in her house. And I just, I get them, put them in the garden, put them on a stepping, paving, paver path, whatever you want to call it. A little yeah. paver. And she likes them. I just think, I like anything rusty. They're very character -y. She likes rusty. good character. Here's another. Azalea. Here's her hose. Yes, my hose. Um, I have some more. Pastas and some daily. My daily these already bloomed, but I, I I don't remember if these have bloomed yet. So these I have some more of that black eyed Susan from the the um the box the box of the bare root plant. And, um, I'm not sure they can hear anything you're saying when you face away. I'm sorry. Every time I edit it, I can't hear it. So the, the black eyed Susans are from the box of plants that I got, and um, so I planted some here and some on the other side, so I have some more color. And then over here, I have a bunch of the foxglove that Betsy planted in the, the milk jugs. The milk and jugs. you can see that they are, they are doing really, they really well. They're starting to put up their bloom stocks. So these are like in her front yard, if you watch that video. Right here, right here. Yeah, these are the Camelot variety. And we started them at all different times so that we could plant them out at about two months apart. Yeah. So we'll have some now, we'll have some midsummer, some late summer. The big ones were here from last year. Yes, some of them were. All the smaller ones were all from the uh, milk ducks. Milk. <laughs> I have more of the little uh, pink salvia Yes. So don't worry. Don't worry. I will rescue you. 
Uh oh, I think uh -oh they're, here. they're here. We'll be back. So my aunt and her granddaughter came to see the puppies. We had a puppy break, and now we're gonna finish up. We are almost done. So you have that one hydrangea right there that's getting ready to bloom, and it's a pink lace cap. Yes, but not a endless summer, I don't think. Mm, not sure what it is, but I don't that think is so. One of the um, bear roots, the third one right there. Yes. And it's almost as big as those. These two are from last year. They just haven't quite come in. I mean, honestly, just where the sun is versus the shade sometimes can make a huge difference. Right. And you can see there's another big coneflower here. Lots more little coneflower babies. So. Yep, and I have more um, foxglove right there yep. coming up that we got from the milk jugs. Those will bloom this year and next year, hopefully. And I believe this is a limelight hydrangea. Yeah. I don't remember. That would make sense. It looks like it when it blooms. Yeah. Um, it gets real tall. I, I cut back some of the dead branches on the top. That's and good. More of the Louisiana iris. Louisiana iris. So, and this is a poppy from Betsy's this house. This is the orange poppy from my house. Well, see, I'm gonna We're not back. sure if it's going to make it, but she wanted it. So we transplanted it and we let it die all the way back. Hopefully that way the seeds would fall, even if it doesn't come back and reseed themselves. And uh, it's just about it's completely right. done now. So we'll probably cut it back to the ground and see what happens. And then I have a big old ant pile over here and I put that stuff. I need to put some more. It's getting better though. It's almost gone. Yeah, it's almost gone. And then... The zinnias. Hey mom, you've got to face the camera. I put in the zinnias here. That's in front of this what this is called aztec grass or something some kind of grass but i just got it for the foliage yeah so these are just for the foliage and then these are the 10 to 12 inch tall zinnias they're really little yeah and they're just like the ones the same variety that i put in the front of my border but i put planted mine about a month ahead of hers yes so they will get 10 to 12 wide and fill in this whole front swoop and they're more yellows and and a little bit of coral. Yes. More I got pinks like yeah. this one over here. Yeah. So that's pretty much everything. That makes the whole garden. So there you go. We'll keep adding more annuals and color and things back in as uh, more spots open. But especially back here, a lot of things like the vinca recedes and then it, it, They'll still grow and flower and be beautiful this year, but they're not going to be beautiful the first minute of summer when you let right. something reseed. Mm -hmm. It's going to take, you know, midsummer to halfway through the summer right. before oh, it really yeah. comes up and is beautiful as Last opposed year, to if you buy a flower already right. blooming from the greenhouse at a store. Last year they reseeded and by the end of the summer they were up to my knee. Yeah, so they'll, they'll all fill in and we'll show you closer to August, yes. September, how they look. But for now, June okay. garden. Yep. So we will uh, see y'all in the next garden tour. We are going to go eat some kind of dinner yep. now that we spent the last hour playing with puppies and children. Yes. But we didn't really play with them. We mainly said, don't pick them up that way for yes. an hour. Don't, don't pick them up by the neck. The neck is not a handle. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.